Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hi, Calvary. Amber here, and we're continuing our journey looking at the life of Solomon. And we are in 1 Kings 8, uh, and it's a pretty lengthy chapter talking about Solomon bringing the ark into the temple uh, and his prayer, and it ends with him sacrificing lots of animals. Uh, but today we're going to be focusing on his prayer. And prayer is so important because, you see, God, the king of the universe, the creator of all things, is waiting to hear from us. See, he doesn't owe us anything, yet he offers us everything. He offers us life and forgiveness and salvation and him, and he is waiting and offering for us to have communication with him, to talk with him. And so are we recognizing the opportunity that we have, the significance in getting to be able to talk with the all-powerful God of the universe who created and sustains all life. See, in verses 27 and 28, it says, But will God indeed dwell on earth? Behold, heaven and the highest heavens cannot contain you, how much less this house that I have built. Yet have regard to the prayer of your servant and to his plea, O Lord my God, listening to the cry and to the prayer that your servant prays before you this day. See, God is so awesome and amazing. See, nothing can contain him. He is all powerful, and yet he chooses to come and dwell with us and hear us and answer our pleas. How amazing is that? That is wonderful news. And so what are some of the things that Solomon prays about in this chapter. So um, we can see that how he starts off is that he thanks God for who he is. He thanks God that he always keeps his promises and that he listens to us. Then he asks God to uh, execute God's justice on earth. He asks God to teach us his ways so that we can walk in them. And the result of that is glorifying God and so that others will know God's great name. He prays that God will fight for us. And then he prays for future generations. And so I would invite you guys, take the time to read this chapter, dwell on Solomon's prayer and how he communicates with God. And then I would invite you to pray boldly before the creator of the universe, the God who loves you, who saves you, and wants a relationship with you because he's waiting to hear from you. Have a good day.